some evidence of what's appropriate and what's not. There are two still, and even in a culture of hyperpartisanship, certain right. things that ought to be above politics, like the murder of our four fellow Americans, and like whether or not you can trust what any administration, Republican or Democrat, tells you in the af aftermath of a tragedy. That, to me, transcends politics. Now, hey, Trey, one final question. Yesterday, some people were bringing up around the set concerns that you could have a committee that could ha have one subpoena after another subpoena going out all the way through 2016, going after Hillary Clinton, going into the election campaign. Do you think there should be a limit on how long uh, the subpoena power should be for the committee, a limit to the scope so people don't say, hey, you Republicans, you're just doing this to go after Hillary? Well, part of the answer to that depends upon how compliant the administration is with our subpoena. Uh, it would be shame on us if we intentionally drug this out for political expediency. On the other hand, if an administration is slow walking document production, I can't end a trial simply because the defense won't cooperate. Right. I, I mean, there, there's a mutual obligation here. The only thing I can tell you is you go back and look at my 16 year career as a prosecutor and you're going to find defense attorneys that say, look, I thought my client was innocent, but the guy gave me a fair trial, and I pride myself on that. You can say whatever else you want. He's not smart, his suit doesn't match, bad haircut. No one will tell you I'm not fair, and at the end of this, I think you'll say the same thing.